What the hell is this? Hello? What in the fuck are a bunch of naked dudes doing here? With tiny peepees? And then a woman eagle dog? Okay. Excellent. Glad I could be a part of this. Whoa, easy. Whoa. What the fuck? Hey, check this out. A free three thing. Blah, 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 blah. That's why they call this window rock. I get it now. But as for the painting... What the hell is this? A lot like those statues from before. Mm -hmm. Totally didn't look this up. This one. This one. Not this one. Your pee pee go back in. This one. And not this one. Your pee pee go back in. Fucking hell, man. Come on. Two. Three. Three gold bars. Most complicated fucking treasure I ever seen in my goddamn life. What the hell is this? Is that white and black? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. Oh, I know you two. Hey, look who it is. I barely recognized you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away. Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. Uh, all right. But the law's pretty, well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. High and Mighty, he don't listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut <laughs> up? I will not. I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. I've seen you talking to them. They should have hanged you for being a moron. God. Oh! Holy shit, I thought we were going for a nosedive. Okay, uh... Hello? Hello, I'm here. Wanted to stop by and say what's up. It's, uh, nearing the end of the main story. Just thought I'd check in with you. Hello? Are you there, sir? Yes, yes, we know you've got all these creepy, creepy paintings on the wall. Oh. Hello? Oh, great. What a surprise. It's you, the silent killer, the monster, the person who is so desperate for friends, you keep annoying me! 
Me! When I was sane, I was dull, and now I'm <laughs> insane, and I'm very dull. I live in a cave. I rant about the meaning of meaninglessness. I know everything about nothing, and nothing about anything. I've never been with a woman. I'm very lonely, and still I oh, that explains it. Friends. Go away! Come on, Please dude. I'll be your friend. You just... You're not wanted here. Go back now. Please. Are you sure? Go. I'll keep Go. coming forward a little Go. bit. Imagine I knock the worst it up place there. Ever? Well, that's what this cave is like. Now go away. Please turn around and head I can to take the you out of here, dude. And to the happy Americans up in the world. I've seen America. Come on, dude. I'm happier in this cave. They've got they they still got women in those places. You can buy one for a night. Nothing. Nothing makes me long for the time of kings more than this. The age of the common man. The age of democracy. The age of idiots. We have put the idiots in charge and we wonder why the world has turned stupid. Are we dumber than them? Are we really? Could we possibly be this stupid? Don't answer that. It's a rhetorical question. I imagine even that's lost on you. Hey there, yep. I don't kind of is. Here. How many times do I have to tell <laughs> you? Come on, dude. Oh man, you look like you're gaining a little weight. Maybe it's just me, but goodbye. All right. Well, hey, man. I'm glad I got to see you this this playthrough. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. Okay. Now that I'm all nice and wet, let's get in there. Hamish, Arthur. Come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you into war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? <sighs> I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Holy hell. Yes, yeah, is it. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Stop there. Okay, I'm on him. Keep yelling at him, Arthur. That'll do it.
I'm afraid I lost sight of him. Don't worry. The tracks go this way. Come on. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. And fast, too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right, and down this one in front of us. Are you sure that's not horse shit? I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, view. Well, thought I uh. Need an extra bullet okay. in my rifle. That's Carcano, not the bolt action. Where are you? What's that? Gourd. Gorn wolves, too. Damn it. Okay, fella. Yep. Let's go, go, go. Amos. Shit, he's after him. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Thrown and the bastard hog got me. <sighs> Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, <clears throat> but he's strong. Jesus Christ. You got him, old man. Even if, uh. Even if he's sitting on top of you, we, uh. We got him. That thing is fucking huge. Can't wrap this around him, can I? Oh, sorry, Hamish. That's uh, that's your buried bearing place. Um. Okay. Super sorry about that, Hamish. His legs will crush soon if you don't lay off the treats. Hey Adobe, can you fucking just calm down? Hey there, John. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know.
Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad <laughs> things. Wasted a good cigarette. He seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. It's that or, well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. <laughs> All right. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath the <coughs> charges. I've already set up the detonator. John, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, all right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. Okay. I'm down there, you lower the crates. Alright. Let me know when you're ready. Fucking things are super heavy. Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. Lower the crate down the side of the bridge. Okay, you should be good there. I do have a lasso. Start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Hey, uh, do we know what the train schedule is on this track? I think that would be an important thing to know. Aren't you, John? Okay, let's go. Nice and easy. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Okay. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. You need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Damn, you have this shit all figured out. I head off to the farthest one so I don't have to make as long of a trip back. Shit. 
Okay, I'm I'm coming. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Okay, 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 okay. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know. Oh my god. That was not going that fast. That was actually super lame. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. <sighs> that was... Hmm. Well, I think um, we all saw what that was. I think the line held. You want the <coughs> Sure. Alright. I don't remember that being like that in the console version, but I could be wrong. Here we go. How did they even make well, a bridge I guess like old that? Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that caused. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty? It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon... You gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I, I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Maybe it was.
I've, I've always had trouble kind of processing that those lines because it makes Arthur sound very antagonistic and I know now after playing the game what he means to say but it's almost seems like a scene where you'd see like somebody that Whoa. got pushed around so much that they end up just going crazy and fucking like kind of like a joker type deal he's not saying like fuck everybody and we're gonna betray Dutch and all this and that but he's, he's more along the lines saying um questioning Dutch's authority, why he's keeping everything to himself, and when there's other stuff that needs to be done. Okay, yep. I need to get out of the area. The... Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay, that's enough of all this shit. Thanks for watching. If you did, I'll see you in the next one.